WWE 2K24 Life Action. Buckle up. You're now riding with 2K Pun. In this video, we will open 100 Legends Series 2 pack. So expose the odds. See what the odds are really looking like. Because everyone opening these packs is getting absolutely nothing but Superstar Series 2. Why? Let's find out. So you ready? My punishers. I said. Are. You. Ready. To get scammed. First pack. It's going to be the top of cosmetics. These will not be duplicates. Or Superstar Series 2 packs. These cosmetics do look pretty cool, though. I kind of like them. I'm not going to lie. So let's get it. First pack. Keep count with me. How many Superstar Series 2 cards can we get? We get one. We get a jobber. A gold job, but that's two in the first pack we open. The problem is we are not getting the cards from the promo that we are paying or grinding to get. If I open a Legend Series 2 pack, I should get a Legend Series 2 card in every single pack. Here we get two jobbers. So the first two packs, we get four Superstar Series 2 cards and no Legend Series 2 cards. Now, there is no live reaction. There is no face cam. I had to delete all that. I'm showing you the video of my pack openings. This is not a consecutive pack opening. These are on different days, different weeks. So it's not going to be, I already know what I'm going to get, and I'm not going to get, I'm not going to sit here, pretend. There's no live reaction. All that video footage has been deleted. Because I wanted to do a voiceover of what I'm getting in these packs. And why are we not getting the cards that we are paying for? So we are getting nothing but Superstar Series 2 cards. This is the problem. This is the problem. We're not getting the cards from the packs that we're paying for. We're getting Superstar Series 2. We either give them their own promo, which they do have their own packs. Which we sometimes get for free of grinding. I'm going to do a refresh here. But that being said, do not put these cards in new promos anymore. If you're going to put them, put them as additional inserts. Before, when we used to open deluxe packs in the past, you were guaranteed a card from the promo. And if you got a Superstar Series card, whether it be one or two in the years past, it would be an additional insert. Now, if you open a basic pack, then you run the odds of not getting a card from the promo you're opening. Are you with me? Good. You got to pay attention. It's okay. Finally, we get a Legend Series 2 card. Amethyst. Dusty Rhodes. So here we continue to rip. And we're back to Superstar Series 2. This is not what I'm paying for. This is not what I'm grinding for. Yes, all these packs will open with VC. It had to be open with VC. It had to make the sacrifice. Because I have to show what's really going on here. All these other content creators covering Persona cards that have major, major channels and platforms. They sometimes come in here and try to get a Persona card. As you see, we get nothing but Superstar Series 2 cards. Duplicates at that. And they don't really understand what we have to go through when we play my faction. They just come in to try to get a certain Persona card. Maybe The Rock or Big Papa Pump. Which we can't hear him. So here we get a duplicate Macho Man Randy Savage diamond. So, so many diamonds. At this point, if you watch my first Legends 2 pack open. I pulled Diamond China and I pulled Diamond Macho Man. There's about 10 diamonds in this promo. 
why am I getting a duplicate diamond when I only have two? So here we do get another Legends 2. We get Ruby, Stacy, Kate. But my problem is not with... There is a problem with the pack odds. There is a problem with the pricing. It's very expensive. If you're following the format of NBA 2K, my team, for $100, they get two 20 boxes. Here for $100, we only could afford one and maybe a few more packs. And if you're grinding 50 hours, five zero hours, so open a 20 box, you should have been getting two 20 boxes. And the other thing is these gold jobbers. Why are we getting gold jobbers? You have a license. You have a man by the name of what's the status that can create all the NXT superstars, movesets, attires, player model. Like, but you decided to ban him instead of giving him a job. You need to give what's the status a job. And if you're going to give us gold cards, give us gold NXT cards. That will only make sense. You guys did a great job last year. Of giving us NXT stars, which I didn't know who they were at the time, and it made me want to look them up and get into NXT and learn who they were. But like, why? These are create a wrestler cause that they're not even good. Like, if we're gonna use create a wrestler, let us use our own create a wrestler. So give us a blank card and let us create our own wrestler. But this is what we're getting for our money. This is what we're getting for our time. You're going to look. A hundred packs I'm going to open. And look what we're getting. One hundred packs. That's going to run you about $500. $500. And if you're grinding, you're getting about 20 k per hour. It's a little less than 20 k But let's just say 20 k per hour. It's going to cost 20 hours of at least 20, maybe 22, 23 hours to grind for 20 bucks. And we get Diamond Bray White. Not a bad pull. This is a good pull. But how many packs did we have to open? Right? Okay. This is our first 20 box of many boxes I'm about to show you what, of my experience opening these packs. Great card. Qualification for a live event. That Bray Wyatt was updated and given an alternate attire. It's not a persona card, but they gave him the Hawaiian shirt Bray Wyatt, which when you fight, he does wear the Hawaiian shirt. So that was a good pull. Right? But now we're going right back to Superstar Series 2. So to open 100 packs, you will have to grind like almost 100 something hours. Hundred and something hours to grind for a hundred packs. And at the end of this video, we're gonna see how many cards we actually got opening a hundred packs. You will be grinding for the rest of your life just to keep up with this game mode. Just think about that for a second. The holidays are coming. The Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Now you have two options. You grind the game or you spend money. Now you need money, right? Because you have to go Christmas shopping. You don't want to spend money on this game. Here we got another Legends 2 Ruby. Do you understand what I'm saying? You want to spend time with your family. Do you want to be grinding Thanksgiving while everybody's eating Thanksgiving dinner? You want to be grinding in Christmas when you should be spending time with your loved ones? 50 hours and then you're not even guaranteed to get the card. Spend a hundred dollars and you're not even guaranteed to get the card. And what are you getting? Superstar Series 2 Gold Jobs. Another diamond. 10 diamonds in this promo. Give or take, correct me if I'm wrong. About 10 diamonds in this promo. I pulled four, three of them being duplicates. 
There is no excuse for this. First of all, if we're getting a duplicate diamond, it shouldn't be a duplicate diamond. If we get another diamond, it should be a diamond we don't have because they're so rare to pull. Oddities, we're not even going to get in to oddities. Look at your collection. How many oddity collection set rewards did you actually complete? So the oddity system broken. Rank play completely broken. The RP system completely broken. These packs completely broken because you're putting superstars series two cards in these packs. This is not what we are paying for. They have their own packs. Give them their own pro. Get another diamond. You think I'm excited? No, I'm not. Because look what we have to do to get this. Why? Why? Here we get a diamond cane. Okay, so what? Quite as a qualifies for a live event not mad but I'm not happy because what we have to do is not fair now mind you this is my first 20 box and you're gonna see why this is a problem this is our first 20 box this box was okay it was good it wasn't terrible we got Bray Wyatt we got Kane right two cars that qualify for live events that's okay it's not great it's okay it's decent right you open a 20 box, you get that, you'd be like, well, I got two cards for the live events and they're both being diamonds. It's not a bad deal, right? But all the 20 boxes, 10 boxes, and singles and deluxes are not hitting like that. Basic and deluxe pack, singles are not hitting like that. And you're going to see. You're going to see why. This is why I wanted to open 100 packs because the odds that they're giving you is a percentage. That percentage is out of 100. It's simple math. They're covering themselves and their odds are not lying they're telling you the odds are bad and they are they're not lying and the odds do hit the way they hit but the odds being bad is not my concern here we're going to get into another 10 box my concern is the fact that they're putting superstar series 2 they did it with superstar series 1 everybody was pleading to take that out they came back and they created a whole new set to continue to do this. So we do get another Legends 2. Damn it, it's Diesel. All right. Now, this promo has 64 cards. 64 Legends Series 2 cards. Superstar Series 2 has over 200 cards. Over 200 cards. All right. Here we get another diamond. They combine all that. So in this promo, there's almost 300 cards. 300. Here we get Diamond Hollywood Hogan. Um, I was happy with this poll because he has great badges. He doesn't qualify for a live event. I don't care. I like Hollywood Hogan. I like his player model. And this one is really good. He has really good badges. And I'm going to have fun playing with him. You know, has a wet blanket on the highest level. You you see, you know what the badges are. Stand like a be merciless opportunist. All the answers can't go wrong. This is a really good Hollywood Hogan card. It's happy with this poll. Even though it wasn't for a live event, I'm cool with it. So you almost got, what, like 270, maybe like almost 270, 280 cards. And if you open a 20 box and you get no duplicates, you might get a couple of packs where you get two superstars. But if you're perfect on that 20 box, you're going to get 20 cards. Correct? Or maybe 22, 23, if you're perfect. Perfect with a couple of double superstar packs. There's 60. Why would you have to put Superstar Series 2 in a promo that has over 60 cards? Like, I don't understand. There's 64 cards. That means I can open three 20 boxes. Even if you didn't put Superstar Series 2. I could open three 20 boxes, be absolutely perfect, get no duplicates, and I still will be four cards short. So you, that promo is already running $300 out the gate plus an additional $20 if you pull a Legends 2 from every card with absolutely no duplicates. That's a problem. 
that's a problem. And the amethyst, the lower tier cards seem harder to pull than the diamonds. And the cards for the live events seem harder to pull than all the other cards in the promo, no matter what tier they are. If they make 60, 300 cards in this, almost 300 cards in this pack, and I'm getting duplicates, why? Like, why? There's probably about 55 cards I don't have, and why am I getting duplicates? Like, you guys really got to look what's going on. You can say, well, you are getting Legend Suit. Yes, I am. But look what I also I'm getting. We, we don't want this. This has to come out. Not now, right now. It's got to be eradicated that they're putting Superstar Series 2 in these promos. If you're going to put them in, put them in as additional inserts. But you should be guaranteed, if you open the Deluxe Pack, you should be guaranteed a card from that promo. Do you not agree with me? Why is this a thing? Because we allow it. Well, we're not allowing it no more. I'm putting my money where my mouth is. And yes, I'm opening it with VC. Absolutely. I could have grinded the MFP. I could have grinded it and this video would have came out three months from now. I wanted to bring this to you before the Legends Series 2 live events expire. I mean, how many packs did we open? And we are not even close to any of these collection set rewards. Any. So I'm going to continue to rip. I'm going to see how much after 100 packs. Where will my collection stand? How many of these Legends Series 2 cards will I get? How many of the cards for the live events will I get? How many collection set rewards will I complete? This is a, the ultimate experiment right before your eyes. And it's not just me. It's all content creators, all pack openings that I am watching. It's the same thing. We are all going through the same thing. I'm not doing terrible. But how many of you are actually going to open 100 of these packs? How many? When a week or two later, you have a whole new promo you got to open packs for. And we're not even going to talk, or we haven't spoken about the SummerSlam odds. Because I'm going to show you that after I finish this 100 pack. Stay tuned. Look at the garbage that we're getting. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open another. This is another 10 box open. Right? So the SummerSlam had the same. They didn't have 64 cards in the promo. I believe it had 10. But at the end of the day, they had the Superstar Series 2 cards as well. As with every, other, every promo that has come out since he too has came out. That's when Superstar Series 2 was released. And the pack, the pull rate from the cards, from the promo, are absolutely atrocious. Dismal. Depressing. You guys are grinding, grinding hours and hours and hours and hours. And those that are spending money. This is what we get. This is the thank you that we're going to get. Shouldn't be like this. We should be getting cards from the promo in every pack. The Lux pack, guaranteed card from the promo. You want to make basics, take your chance. You might not get a card from the promo. I'm fine with that. We had that in the past. I know the deal. I'm taking a chance with a basic pack. Why am I taking a chance with a deluxe pack? As expensive as they are, as expensive as these packs are. The longevity of this game and, and people grinding and, and spending money and the people that are grinding and hating on the people that are spending money. Listen, 
There's no difference in pack odds whether you spend money or you grind. There is absolutely no difference. I've pulled good pulls using my faction points, and I had bad pack openings using my faction points. And I had great pulls using VC and bad pulls using VC. It doesn't say if you open with VC, your odds are this. If you open with MFP, your odds are this. No, your odds are always going to be the same whether you're opening with real money or you're opening with in-game currency that you earn. My faction points. Your odds are going to be the same. The odds are just deluxe pack and basic pack. Sometimes the boxes will have a difference of 1%. You might get a higher chance in a box. You might get a lower chance in a box of 1%. But at the end of the day, there's no difference. You think 2K will be smart enough that if people were spending money on this game, they would increase their odds. But they're not. Then that's not the case. They don't even do that. They don't even do that. So you could go and spend a hundred dollars right now and get absolutely nothing. You could grind fifty hours and get absolutely nothing. Or you could spend a hundred dollars and get some good pulls. You could grind fifty hours and get some good pulls. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. I've done both. I'm doing this for VC for a reason. For a reason. One for the speed to release this video. Because I want this video to come out before Legend Series 2 live events end. I want to see how many qualification cards for the live events I'm actually able to pull. There is eight. Eight qualification cards for live events from Legend Series 2 packs. Eight. So far we got two. And I also got a Roddy Piper that I opened with a My Faction points pack. That was the first pack I ever opened a Legend Series 2. And I got Roddy Piper. And that was with an MFP pack. I just opened a couple packs with MFP and I pulled it Roddy. So I have three cards for the live events. And how many packs have I ever opened right before your eyes? But you see, I'm not going to come here with just a problem. I'm going to come here with a solution. First of all, stop taxing the poor. Stop coming after the poor and making us spend money or grind all this grinding to open these packs that are extremely expensive. When you have billion dollar companies that can sponsor these openings, sponsor this game, you make us sit through a My Faction loading screen and all it says is My Faction. Now, hear me out. I'm not saying put commercials in the game. But if I'm going to sit through a My Faction screen that just says My Faction, Let's get some sponsors and make money off of billion dollar companies that could afford it. That won't mind paying you to promote their business in your game. Instead of taxing the poor. That loading screen where it says my faction. Put a Walmart ad. Coca-Cola. Ford. Not, not, not a, a commercial. A billboard. Instead of saying my faction. You can even have it my faction somewhere on it. Have a billboard and then charge Walmart, charge Coca-Cola, charge Ford. So you don't have to charge us. It's ridiculous. Go after these billion dollar companies, the ones that are signed with WWE. Start putting billboard ads in the loading screens that we're sitting through anyway, instead of seeing a, a sign that says, uh, screen that says my faction we know what we're playing and then let us grind the game for free and have fun do something like the way you did this year in faction wars incorporate last year in faction wars with the ladder and let us earn free packs and let us grind for packs tokens whatever we choose to grind for whatever we want to go after you can use the same map you use for faction wars this year and all those nodes one could be a pack one could be tokens. One could be my faction points. We could choose what we want to go for. Here we get a glow, but it's not a diamond. It's going to be an amethyst because it's, it's not as sharp. The little red edges are not that sharp. So I was hoping that this was uh, the ultimate warrior because he is my favorite wrestler of all time. And Trish also glows, but here we get the ultimate warrior. I was very, very happy with this pull. Very happy with this pull because I wanted this. I wanted a good ultimate warrior to play with. Now, I know Trish, Trish glue, she glows, glue, I don't even know glue is a word. <laughs> Trish glows, right? But 
because I've seen uh, other content creators open packs, and I know Ultimate Warrior glows as well. So I was hoping this was Warrior, and it was Warrior. So I was happy with this pull, even though he's not for a live event. Because I do like the Legend 2 cards in this promo because it's a lot of uh, wrestlers I grew up watching from my childhood. For me, it's nostalgia, big time. Some of you guys may be young, don't even care who half of these legends are. I get it, but for me, this is who I grew up watching. This is my Stone Cold's, John Cena's, and The Rock's, and my Cody's. You understand what I'm saying? So, I do like this promo, but I just don't like the way it's being dished out to us. And with the Superstar Series 2, this video is being made so that this could be done. This could be taken out of facts. You should be guaranteed a card from the promo every time we open a deluxe pack. That's the way it should be. That's just that's the way it should be. This is ridiculous that we have to sit here through all these Superstar Series 2 cards, the golds and stuff like that. Like gold job is really, you spend so much time grinding or God forbid you spend money and you're getting a gold job. But that's the thing. If you're no money spent, if you spend money on the game, if you don't play this game, it doesn't matter. We all need to come together. We all we could we could hate later on. Right now, we need to come together. Because a house divided will always fall. And a house united will stand tall. And right now, we fall it. Because everybody, I see other content creators that they open packs with VC. You got people in the comments hating, oh, but you use VC. So what? It's the same odds. Those those con those people spending money on the game could easily turn around and tell you, well, it's not fair. You're not spending no money on the game, and you're getting all the good stuff. It doesn't matter. We're screwed either way. No money spent is screwed. All money spent is screwed. We're all screwed. We all need to come together because this cannot be a thing. We cannot end this year like this, go into the holidays like this, and go into 2K25 like this. We're going to go into WWE 2K25, and this is going to be a disaster. And we're not even talking about Big Papa Pump situation yet. We didn't even get into that whole debacle. Making us do all this to finally get the card, and then it's broken, and then it disappears. And I'm sure they're going to run it back, or they're going to do something. I, I'm sure they're going to fix it. But, it, you know, if the solution is going to be putting a, a Big Papa Pump in the car market for 20 30 bucks. I would not be surprised, but I hope that's not what they're intending to do. They should give out a lock of code for a free big pop of pump to everybody. And if you got and if you went and pulled that Sami Zayn, just to make it fair, give everybody a pink diamond Sami Zayn, like a really good Sami Zayn card. Like some different Sami Zayn card. You gotta re you, you got you gotta pay the community back. You can't do that. Make people spend money, grind the game, get Sammy, get some people didn't even get to play the live event and they already pulled Sammy. They they never even got Big Papa Pump. Like, I don't understand. So we get another Diamond Glow finally. I don't even know how many packs I'm in. I'm just recording. I'm just I'm just sharing the video in order that I open the packs. Here we get Diamond Andre the Giant, who we got free from the locker code. The locker code that dropped he this was one of the free cards, but I pulled this card before the Lock of Code was released. So, for me, the Lock of Code was just going to be on my faction points. I believe it's like 19,500, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, the platform is yours. The platform is open. How many Legends 2 did you pull when you opened these packs? What was your experience? So here we get an Amethyst RVD. I'm not mad. I just don't want Superstar Series 2 in my packs. That's all. That's all. That's what this whole video is about. We need change. We need change. Not now. Right now, we need change. Here we're going to open 100k VC. Just singles. Just going to rip singles, right? Because I'm, I'm testing all the odds. I'm doing 20 box deluxe, 10 box deluxe, 10 box basic. Single basics, single deluxe. I'm opening everything so nobody can say, well, you should have opened this or you should have opened. I'm opening everything right before your eyes. Single deluxes, single basics, you name it. Doing refreshes, doing resets, multiple days of opening these packs, multiple waiting a week or two between pack openings. It doesn't matter. I've done it all. 
It's just not, it's just not gonna happen. Because if I open a hundred card, a hundred packs, we're gonna see how many Legend Series 2 cards I have from the collection when these packs are done. Now, mind you, my Legend Series 2 first pack opening. Go back in my video log, you'll see it. I opened about 20 to 25 packs there. Right? 20 to 25 packs there. And now I'm continuing to open it. This, this might make it a total of 100. might be a little bit over 100. I'm not going to sit here and do all this mathematics. You guys are very good. My opponent should know what time it is. You could do a count. You can leave it in the comments. But what do you think? What do you think about this? The platform is yours. The comments are open. What is your experience with this game? What is your experience of opening packs? Now, I'm not mad. Like I said, I'm not doing terrible. But I shouldn't have to open this many packs to get what I'm getting. And you'll see when this video is done, exactly a grand total of what I actually was able to get. 400 packs. You'll see. You'll see. Another diamond mod. That's like my fourth or fifth diamond macho man. Meanwhile, I'm missing like six diamonds, seven diamonds. Like I just, I really at this point, I don't understand. I really just don't understand. But I guess this is what we're going to go into here. And, uh, and WWE 2K25, this is what we got to look forward to. It's only going to get worse. It's only been getting worse. It's like a cancer right now. It's like a cancer and they're not mapping things out correctly. And these are the videos that you guys really got to like, share. I'm not asking you guys to subscribe for this video. I'm not. If you want to, thank you. But if you don't want to, that's fine. But at least if you don't like or share any of my other videos ever, share and like this one. We need this to go viral so people can see what's really going on in this game mode. And all these content creators covering Persona cards that have huge platforms, tag them. Share this with them. So hopefully they could talk about what a $500 will get you in WWE 2K24. Because this is exactly what it's going to get you. So you know all the high profile content creators. They really need to see what's going on. Assemble. Rival already knows what. You have so many. You have Just Brian. You have Kenny the Bomb. You got the wrestling shoe. I believe his name is Jesse. He even interviewed someone who works for my faction, or, or it's like one of the heads of my faction. But trust me, that that guy he had on the interviewing, that guy does not. That poor man came on there, and he was like a huge target, because I'm sure he's not the one that makes these prices, and I'm sure he's not the one that makes these odds. He's just probably in charge of making sure the, the, the mode is working. But at the end of the day, when it comes to pricing and this gambling aspect, I'm sure he really has nothing, no say-so whatsoever to do with it. And I give him all the credit in the world for even coming on an interview like that and putting himself out there. Because the real people that need to come out there, they didn't have the guts to do it. But they have the guts to charge your account. Big Papa Pump is broken, right? But you know what's not broken? When they go to charge your credit card. That never, that always works. So let's make this video go viral. I'm not going to sit here and say every single card I pulled. You guys are seeing what it is. You guys see what time it is. We've opened so many packs. So many packs. And we're going to take a grand total. We're going to see exactly what we got. This is a $500 pack opening. Continue to get Superstar Series 2 all over the place. All over. Old jobbers. All over. Why? And this is why I feel bad. I feel bad for the community. I feel bad for you guys. Because now... With the live events, they want you to have collection set rewards. Well, you got to get five of these cards. 
And for the live events, half of these cards are not even in the card market. For this Legend Series 2, none of these cards are in the card market. So you have no choice but to open packs. And this is what we have to go through. This is what we have to go through. Don't like, don't share. But you know what? When you go through this, and this is your experience, you can do what The Rock tells you to do. Do nothing and like it. Or now we could do something and not like it. So I'm doing something and I'm not liking it. And I'm putting my money where my mouth is. I do not have to do this. I can open a whole bunch of promos. I can enjoy the game. But I want change. I want change for WWE 2K25. And I want change for the rest of this year going into the holidays. We need change. Not now, right now. We need these top content creators to really talk about this and to really change this. We need to get Superstar Series 2 cards out of our packs or as additional inserts. But we need the cards from the promo to be guaranteed. This is what this video is about. There's so many other problems. We could talk about it all day. But this has to get fixed. This has to get fixed first. It has to get fixed now. We can increase the odd pull rate odds. We can decrease the prices. We can fix online gameplay. We can fix Big Papa Pump. We got a lot of work to do. The company has a lot of work to do. But right now, this is something that could be fixed first. It's a step in the right direction. Because if there was a if there was a glitch for us to earn my faction points. Trust me, that will be patched in one day. Because it has been patched in one day the past in 2K22 and 23. So don't tell me you can't fix this. You can't patch this. 2K needs to stop being cheap. Pay people the real money that they want to get real people to come in and make this work. There's no excuse. You are a billion dollar company. Now, what's the status? You need to hire him. You can hire a rival. To have them map all this out for you. That's, you you got people. You have gems in the community. That you can hire. And you will make more money than you ever have made. Up to this point. And you don't have to do this to the community. You don't have to do this to the community. You could definitely hire these people. Pay them good. And let them cook. Because right now you're cooking. You, you're showing us all the good stuff. With all the live events and stuff like that. But nobody can get the cards to even play the live events. Content creators are leaving left and right. The gaming community is leaving left and right. Soon there's going to be nobody left here. And then you're going to want to fix it? Another diamond, Macho Man. What's that, the fifth? Then you're going to want to fix it when it's too late? Nobody's coming back once you fix it. Fix it not now, right now. Let's go. Let's get this push going. First of all, to get Superstar Series 2 cards out of this point. Because this is absolutely ridiculous. I'm not, edit I'm not editing nothing. I just put all the videos together of what I opened. And I'm sharing it with you guys. This is a huge pack opening. Probably the biggest one I'm ever going to do. And we're going to see exactly everything I got. When this pack opening is over. And everything that I qualify for. Or don't qualify for. When this pack opening is over. So. I mean I don't. I just. I literally don't even know. What else to say at this point. We need change. We need change and we need it now. Ridiculous. So looking at my collection, let's go take a look what we got, 400 packs. We didn't even get half the cards from the promo. We only got 28 out of 64. And I believe that's 27 because the Diamond Eddie Guerrero, I didn't even pull him, but I already entered the locker code. So we only got seven diamonds. So we technically, we only got 27 cards out of the 64. With 100 packs. That means we would have to open. About 300 packs. 
to even completing this collection. But Hogan, I'm missing two. Shawn Michaels, I'm missing a few. I'm missing a bunch for Stone Cold Steve Austin. We didn't complete not one collection. I couldn't even pull this razor remote, and I really wanted that Diamond Shawn Michaels from the live event. We didn't complete one collection set reward with 100 packs. Because probably they want us to spend more money purchasing these cards in the card market. And when these cards drop in the card market, believe me, there's going to be a bunch of new live events, a bunch of new promos. And if you're grinding the game, you're not going to be spending money on these cards in the card market. You're going to want to go and grind for new cards that are the new live events and open new packs to get new qualification cards for the live events. This is a huge problem. This is why we need a push to get this Superstar Series 2 gimmick out of our packs. Not now. Right now. Let's go. Like and share. And comment. And share with your favorite content creators. Now what did we qualify for from the live events? So we qualified for Piper. We didn't qualify for Do Love. We didn't pull Diamond Mankind. We didn't qualify for Shawn, Diamond Shawn Michaels. We didn't pull Amethyst Razor Ramon. Qualify for Bray Wyatt. Qualify for Million Dollar Man. We didn't qualify for the prototype. We only qualified for this one because we got Eddie Guerrero from the Locker Code. And we didn't qualify for a persona called Chad Gable. So we only qualified for half of the live events. Four out of eight from a hundred packs. Now with the SummerSlam, it was the same thing, probably even worse. I opened the 20 box. In the 20 box, I only pulled Diamond Gunther and his Amethyst Terry Funk. The Amethyst Hitman I bought with my faction points to qualify for the live event. And the other two rubies, the Hunky Talk Man and the Kota Kai, I pulled from single pack. But from a 20 box, a, car, a promo that has 15 cards, I only got two cards. So we need change. We need Superstar Series 2 removed from the promos or added as additional inserts. But we need guaranteed packs with guaranteed cards from the promo. It's what we're grinding for. It's what we're paying for. It's only right. So it's time to make this change. That being said, don't ever forget that Jesus always loves you. God bless. 2K Punt, the People's Pack champ, champion of the people. I'm out.